What's up, YouTubers? Marvin Kicks here. Um, as promised, I will be bringing you the uh, review of the DSLR dashboard, which is the app that I'm currently using. Um, I did make a mistake in the previous video and called it the DSLR um, con controller, which is actually a different app, which costs about 10 bucks. Um, this is the free version, so I'm going to be giving you just a quick breakdown of the functionality and what you can do with it. Um, as you can see, I've got it hooked up with the OTG cable, OTG USB cable. Uh, one of the viewers asked me what it's called and managed to find it, but this is the cable. Um, I can put a link for a cable or the name in the description, just check that out. Um, so quickly, let's uh, have a breakdown. I'll be starting uh, up here um, with this little camera button uh, and then move my way in an anti-clockwise fashion. Okay, so this is obviously a picture. So. Um, Whatever's happening, autofocus, so you can, I think you can either tap that or hold it down. Next up, we have the record button, uh, which is for recording movies. Uh, next up, we have a little button, looks like a little tag, um, camera setting profile. So I think what you can do is save a profile and then just load it and then we'll have all your settings. Um, down the bottom uh, left corner, we have a full screen button. Um, and these little buttons down the bottom here allow you to focus um, so the, the, the double arrow obviously focuses a lot quicker um, and then it moves into smaller increments of focusing. Um, uh, next up we have shutter speed so you can uh, scroll pick the shutter speed you want and then hit that. Um, your f-stop or your aperture um, so you can choose um, what you want over there. Um, next up um, this button, I'm not quite sure what it does, but it says Nikon camera settings, Nikon, however you call it. Um, so that's obviously a breakdown for those settings. Um, so this app is compatible with multiple cameras. Um, moving down, uh, not sure what that does, but it makes things go red. Um, bottom right, don't know what that does. Uh, AWB is obviously auto white balance, uh, and you can change your white balance settings over there. Um, Exposure compensation. Uh, next up, we have ISO speed. Um, what format you want your photos to be taken in? Uh, I'm not actually sure if there's a, um, a setting for the size of video. Um, I can confirm that later, probably. Uh, next up, um, you can make a comment about your image. Uh, several settings that you can have a look at. Live your startup, autofixing before capture, blah 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 blah. Um, and then, oh, I just clicked that one. Sorry. Uh, next up, uh, this is where you can view your um, view your photos. Um, so there's a thing for all photos, for raw photos, JPEG photos, and an option to delete that. I think that's when it stores it on your cam on your phone, and you can view it from there. Um, information about your camera. Uh, turn the mic off, um, time lapse settings, um, uh, focus stacking settings, not really sure what that is. Uh, next up, uh, the LV little button over here, I'm not really sure what it does, but when I pushed it, it uh, made the lens go off or something like that. Um, over here you can choose your mode, so whatever you want, portrait, landscape, um, aperture priority, etc. Um, the little play button um, simply is to view photos. Um, and then the last one is a time lapse option. Another cool little thing, if you're saying doing an on-foot video and you want to just focus on your shoe, you can just double tap on the screen and it'll focus in that region. So a really cool app, really helpful um, in recording on-feed videos and those kind of things. So check it out. Uh, let me know if you've used it. Let me know what you think or if you've used a better one. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my video, guys. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box. And don't forget to like and subscribe.